and continue to have them in a shelter with other people's pets. But how careful is the shelter when it comes to adopting pit bulls to the public? First, we checked with other Metro County shelters. Some, like DeKalb County, refuse to adopt out pit bulls at all. Other counties that do insist on doing a home check first to make sure your house is suitable for such a challenging breed. Well, that was the policy in Fulton County until Barking Hound took over. When Southern Hope is there, um, there were certain counties that, that didn't want pit bulls adopted in that county, and we didn't adopt to them in that county. Now, since Barking Hound, anybody who wants to can come in and adopt a dog, a pit bull. No questions asked. No questions asked. Watch what happened during our undercover visit to the shelter. We chose what seemed like one of the most aggressive dogs here, a pit bull named Bugsy. He's the one on the right trying to get through the wall to the pit bull on the left. We paid our $85 fee to the adoption counselor and got approved. No one insisted on visiting our producer's home first, even though he lives in DeKalb County, where that county shelter refuses to adopt out any pit bulls. So it's okay if I live in Decatur? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah, we totally adopt to people that don't live in the county. We don't care what county you live, as long as you don't be a good parent. But how would she know what kind of parent our producer would be? The adoption counselor didn't seem bothered at all when our producer admitted never taking Bugsy out of his cage, even to pet him. The fact that our producer said he already had a small fox terrier at home also sent up no red flags. All right, well, thank you so much. When they called us three days later to say our dog was ready to take home, our producer told them he had changed his mind. Ms. Alexander says it was against policy to green light an adoption without making sure the dog had at least been walked by the prospective owner. Our mission is to save lives, which means we need to adopt out animals, not to, you know, an inappropriate situation, but to a good adopter. It's obvious what the conclusion is. It's all about the breed. It's all about saving the pit bulls at all costs. The man behind Barking Hound, David York, says the shelter has made several changes for the better, including increasing their spay and neuter programs. Still, it's curious that uh, we were able to uh, be approved for adoption, even though we admitted we had not even taken the dog out of the cage. And David York has another business, too, a for-profit doggy daycare. Yeah, Barking Hound Village. And what's interesting is on their website, it said no pit bulls or pit bull mixes allowed at the daycare, the doggy daycare. Mm. But apparently it's okay to mix them in with uh, other breeds at the Fulton County Animal Shelter that they run. We pointed out that contradiction. That uh, item was removed from the website. And they said what they meant, to, what they meant uh, uh, was that uh, no aggressive dogs allowed. Mm. Uh, they weren't uh, specifying any particular breed, they well, say. You and I have gotten emails from people who say pit bulls are not naturally aggressive. It's right. the people who train them. They just want to please their owner. And, yeah. of course, if the owner's a bad guy, chances are the dog's going to be a bad dog. All right. Randy, thanks. Mm -hmm. Still ahead on Fox. Tonight, the director of the Fulton County Animal Shelter quit today after an undercover I-Team investigation revealed serious questions about how she ran the department. I-Team reporter Randy Travis is here now. He has those new developments. Randy. Amanda, Jerry Alexander has only been on the job for seven months. We uncovered questionable decisions, not just about the shelter, but the way in which she treated her own pets. Former employees told us Ms. Alexander insisted on protecting aggressive pit bulls who came into the shelter, even ones that attacked workers. Well, she denied that, but so many pit bulls became packed into the shelter, critics say fights broke out on a daily basis. Our undercover cameras caught this pit bull terrorizing another dog, and when we alerted a kennel worker, he dismissed our concerns, calling it an initiation. There's more. Ms. Alexander told her staff to make a vicious dog ticket involving a pit bull to, quote, go away, and we caught her violating DeKalb County law by keeping pit bulls chained on her own property. Now, the vendor who runs the shelter, Barking Hound Village Foundation, has named Herman Swan as the interim director. Mr. Swan has been there for more than 20 years, working under all three management companies. Back to you. Fox 5 Traffic Watch. Watching out for you. A Fox 5 I-Team investigation. The Fulton County Animal Shelter released dozens of wild or feral cats and cannot provide proof that all of them were spayed or neutered. This comes in the wake of an undercover I-Team investigation that raised questions about the shelter director and the way in which she ran the shelter. I-Team reporter Randy Travis is here now. He has some new developments. Randy. Amanda Russ, rescue groups play a vital role in pulling dogs and cats from a shelter and making sure they wind up in good homes. They have to follow strict rules set up by the state, but our investigation found those rules ignored. 
easily adaptable. It just depends. Yeah. Weeks before an undercover item investigation would lead to her resignation, former Fulton County Animal Services Director Jerry Alexander gave the I-10 